We bring you this video starting with a significantly pleasant a cappella by our resident space monkey. It's been a while since I've recorded this, so I'm probably going to be absolutely terrible. Welcome to the loving duo of... Oh, but what did I name this character? Tiberianus? Yeah. And her cyber girlfriend, Alpha Sis. Hello. Oh, crap. Me, Space Monkey, I'm doing as Scythia. Scythia! Who everyone calls Ray, because that way they can record voice lines and not have to give a damn what silly things people call their Alpha Sis. <laughs> Anywho, we were doing things. I don't remember what. Let's talk to her. Oh, she wants to wear a different outfit, Space Monkey. Alright, okay. Well, I'm still don't like 10 her. minutes behind, so, you know. Oh, wow! That. She got me a high-quality emerald! Way to go, Space! Yay! <laughs> oh, looks like See, you're back I'm to the cheerleader. Sometimes. It, it seems like you're back to being a cheerleader, Space Monkey. Now, something has occurred at some point that has caused a significant drop in frame rate while just playing the game. And I'm not sure what it is, because my resources aren't doing anything at all. Nothing that would warrant such a reaction. Yeah, I mean, I'm at like 60% memory usage. That's it. And like 10, 15% CPU. Uh, what were we doing? Main quests, nothing. Subquests, no whole artillery on space. Do you remember where we were going? No. I'm not Damn. playing the game, so I don't know. Ah, it's space. This is the stuff you're supposed to remember. But I'm not playing the game. Oh, that's right. I think we were about to head back to the Flugel because we figured out also, how to get it. Also, it's been like a month and a half. So, you know. <laughs> I mean, it was yesterday. So, uh, I have a bad memory because of all the rampant alcoholism, I guess. And the incestuous dragons. <laughs> no, the rampant incest keeps the dragons away. Oh, was that how it worked? I forgot. Yeah. The hey, Space, incest there's people over here that want to talk away. to us. Who are you two? Uh, oh god. It's it's like it's like a it's like a dour ninja version of of Scythia. That's kind of creepy. Oh? Oh. Hmm? Yeah, this person should work. Hey, you mind talking to me for a sec? Hey, it's Pitohui. That's all you're getting out of me. Anyway, I've got a question to ask you. When it comes to handguns, which do you prefer? Revolvers or automatics? You don't need to think about it too deeply or anything like that. Just go with whatever comes to you first. I'm automatics. Just go ahead and indulge her for now, will you? I'll thank you for it later. Now, in general, I tend to prefer automatics or semi-automatics because we have higher clip count, faster reload. Better. Let's put it this way. There's a reason that technology evolved past revolvers. Then but my answer is going to be, I'm more of a photon sword type myself. Oh, so oh, mm. ah, okay, gotcha. Sure, that makes sense. I get where you're coming from. Well, Em, I guess that settles it. Indeed. <laughs> if that's our answer, then it means we're off to the Forgotten Woods. Wait, what? Hey, was that? Oh, they're gonna try to attack me, probably. Really? Was that how it worked? Eh, no complaints here. Is this really about handguns? It's nothing important. We're just debating where to go today. What? We just couldn't right, decide sure. for ourselves. So Pito here thought we could have an outsider settle it for us with that question. Yeah, you could say I maybe have a thing for guns. All kinds, really. I love them all. It's something of a dream of mine to fire every type in this game, no matter how many they keep adding. Speaking of which, I think we're staring at one of those new types right now. What? Oh, so you're the one who got the UFG from that Arphasis. Who'd have thought? Yep, it's the real deal, all right. I've been wanting to take that thing out for a test drive. Wait, the, the gun or my Arphasis? No. You wouldn't be willing to let me borrow it for a little bit, would you? I'll pay you for it, and I promise I'll be gentle with her. Are you sure? Wait, what? Oh, it's actually me. Oh. I wouldn't get your hopes up of that happening. Nobody even knows what that thing could be worth. Not even the owner. 
I hadn't even thought of that. I guess you can't exactly put a price on something when it's only when it's the only one on the server. Oh dear. Oh well, had to try. Infinite money. Yes, I'll just have to find a way to get one for myself the old-fashioned way. Tell you what, if you are that cute in person and you sell yourself into slavery to me for the rest of your life, I'll let you play with my gun. No, so essentially okay. you're going to sell one person into slavery for the other person to be sold into slavery. That's nice. What? No, she's actually talking about the gun. No. But why she's, did she she's she... talking... Oh, Because anyway. <laughs> I was making a joke. <laughs> yeah, but I said it like she... I thought you said she... Oh, whatever. She did say she, but she was talking about the gun. Hmm. Because she loves oh, guns, boy. which means she loves them so much that she applies gender and personifies them. I've never understood oh? the personification of... Maybe we shouldn't go out hunting and exploring fields today, Ann. We might better off fighting a boss in a dungeon instead. What do you think? <laughs> if you're thinking that'll help you land a UFG, forget it. We could search high and low for another one, and I doubt we'd come across it. So? Actually, bring up a question. What do you think about the personification of equipment? Depends. Really? Then maybe a little info gathering is in order. Not that I'm exactly in the mood for doing that today, though. That's fine. No need to force yourself to do anything. It's not like we won't find anything good roaming out in the field anyway. That's true. I guess we can search another time. It might be fun to just run around shooting some players. A GGO is a really fun game like that. No matter what your weapon of choice is, you'll always have a fun time killing some fools. Fun? <laughs> well, it's true. Is this your first time playing a game that's heavy on player killing? Or are you just role-play? I'm good now. I'm good now. For me, a lot of the thrill comes from seeing who will kill and be killed. At least it's thrilling when I'm not the one getting killed myself. But that's not how it goes with these things. Can't complain too much. Hey, Em, say something. You're being awful quiet. Uh, not like I have anything to add. I just figure, you know, when in Rome, who is the Romans do? Unless you want the Romans to do you in first. Come on, is that the best you've got? Can't you come up with something a bit more... I don't know. Bloodthirsty? I'm not like you, you know. But alright, let me put it another way. Pito here loves a good fight like nothing else. If you run into her while you're out and about, be prepared for some help. If she's feeling feisty, that is. Bye. <laughs> sure, let's go with that. Come on, keep going. What else do you have to say? You talk. I've said my piece. Aw, is that all? You don't need to be so shy. You two married. Anyway, I guess we should properly introduce ourselves. I'm Pitohi, and this l messy little spoil sport is M. We like to roam all over the place, shoot things up, and generally kicking ass wherever we go. I'd like to shoot you up and kick your ass sometimes, too. Oh my. I think he runs a CIA, uh, special agency, you know. Then again, it'll, it'll probably be fun for you and me to team up and slaughter some fools too, eh? Well, whatever. And on that note, we've got work to do, so I'm afraid we're going to head out. If we ever bump into one each other, one another, don't be afraid to, uh, say hi, if you know what I mean. Indeed. Don't be a stranger. In other words, use a sniper and shoot from long range and kill her. Uh, I wish. Make sure you enjoy your time here in GGO. You've got real talent for VR, I think. Anyway, enough chit chat. Let's roll out, Em. Alright. Sorry to bother you so much. Except this is thanks for answering your question. Come on, Em! I said let's move it! Coming. See you around. Good luck out there. What, what did I just get? I hear that you are Estrella's big sister. Oh, space quickly. She's gonna say something at the bottom of the screen. Read it. I missed it. Who? Which one? You. Oh. Ooh, there's gold stuff. All right. I'm at I'm at good luck out there right now. 
I had to hear that uh, your stream's big sister didn't pull through, though I can- Oh my god, it's so quick! This is like Parasite Eve 2 fucking tech <laughs> Indeed. Those bug me so much, seriously. Like, why do they make the text boxes auto cycling for some of them and is other ones no they didn't auto cycle? Is there no option to turn it off? No, there's absolutely no option to turn it off. And not only that, you have like small text box that stays up forever. Small text box that stays up forever. Oh, I'm going to Small the wrong text way. box that stays up forever. Large text box, large text box, small text box. It's like, wait, what? what? <laughs> so I kind of get into a nice rhythm, I'm just kind of relaxing, chilling out, and then suddenly, BANG! There we go. I figured out how to run you, again, everybody. I don't really get through comparing to the big sister, though. What about that? Uh, they're talking about how... She's confused how um, Yue can be Straya's big sister when she's shorter. Oh, okay. Oh my god, space. Hmm? They're adorable. You'll see. Da, da, da. What do you want to discuss? Oh, that's you. Hold on, that, never mind, you don't have to say that. Huh? Did you need something? Hey, wait, haven't I seen you somewhere before? Of course you have! This is that player who got an Arphasis right after starting GGL for the first time. Oh, right, now I remember. Jeez, what an honor bumping into you here. Can I, like, shake your hand or something? I was hoping some of your luck could rub off on me. I'm sure I could use it. Huh? Sure, I'm always happy to shake hands with So basically, it's just combat lollies. Yes! You make it sound like that's a bad thing. Eh. Sorry about that. I know she can be lively, but she means well. Anyway, I'm Len. She is Fuka Zero. You can just call me Fuka. Everybody does. But seriously, this might be fate or something. I'd love it if we could be friends. What do you say? No. I don't think I won't treat you like any other enemy if I see you out in the field. You'll get no mercy from me, and I expect the same from you. Got it? I don't know how I feel about beating up combat lollies. Well, she said to do it. Yeah, she might be into that. She wants you to perforate her, Tiber. God damn it, Space Monkey. <laughs> What's gotten into you? You picked that up from some weird movie or something? <laughs> Baby, it was so good though. The hero in it was no. so cool and like super noble. <laughs> Sorry, I, re I, I interpreted Fuka as something slightly different. Ha. Uh, you're not planning to make this more <laughs> dramatic than it needs to be, right? <laughs> of course not. Why would I? Any fight's going to be over before it starts anyway. Well, at least you know how terrible you are. If you say so. Although, if it actually lasts a little while, we could get a good war of words going between us as we fight, too. What did I just ask? You two sure are friendly. <laughs> you could say that. There's nobody who knows more about Len's VR, VR MMO life than me. I gather there was this one time she literally started hating a VR MMO within 20 seconds of logging into it for the first time. I have no idea what that feels like. From what I gather, her avatar might have touched a nerve when it came to her... came to her hi... Ah! Fuka, no! Okay, so maybe I had a little to do with it, too. But that's all the more reason why I'm trying to get her to enjoy GGO. I know this is sudden, but try to be friends with her, okay? I know she has her quirks, but ultimately, she's a good person deep down. Quirks? Like what? Like you're wearing bright pink in a combat game. I mean, for starters, like how everything you've got equipped is pink. Hey, there's nothing wrong with that. Being uniform has its perks, you know. <gasps> hey, it's Pinky in the brain. Oh, God damn it, Space Monkey. And then there's how you love your gun just a little too much. I swear, I've heard you talk to that thing before. I don't do that often. I mean, ever. I don't talk to my gun. Oh, my. I know you also buy airsoft guns. And Actually, I should probably shut up there. Sorry, I didn't mean to go into real world stuff. Hey! Oh, calm down. I'm done now. It's time we get down to business. Huh? Len here can definitely hold her own in a gunfight. She can hit her targets at distances I'll always miss no matter how hard I try. 
That's putting it nicely. I've seen you miss targets that are practically in your face when you try using a pistol. Oh, right. I should probably mention that I made grenade launchers. They're not designed for, super, for precision, so I can make it work. That much is true. They definitely come in handy a lot. Yeah, yeah. Enough about me. Getting back to you, Len. You've really got to learn to sell yourself better before it's too late. Oh, my. When did this become a pep talk? Look, just listen to me. Take a good look at her. She's pretty short, right? <laughs> but don't let her appearance deceive you. When she's fighting, she's a ball of fire. She's in top shape and crazy smart to boot. What more could you want? Her phone number, I guess? I don't know. Stop! You're embarrassing me! And once she really sets her sight on a target, you'd better expect they wind up dead one way or another. How you could tear her apart limb from limb and she'd still win. Literally by the skin of her teeth if she had to. Have skin. You have to put it like that? I'm just trying to help, you know. Well, I don't need it. Uh, seriously. I'm nothing special. Take what she says with a couple tons of salt. I look forward to seeing you two around. Anyway, we better get going now. I hope you have a, a good hunt, I guess. Good luck out there. Fingers crossed that you raise those bounties so we can rake in even more cash. Okay, that's not really something you should say. Oh, hush. That's just how people root for each other in GGO. At least if it wasn't before, then it is now. I like them both. They're adorable. And she has so many grenades. Just one shot to the gut and she explodes. No, that's not how a grenade works. Isn't it? No, I don't think you can really shoot grenades to make them explode. Can't you? I don't believe so, no. I know you could with old grenades. I mean, now they have a priming agent, One I suppose. Oh, whatever. One minute. Uh, if you say so, I guess we shouldn't take it easy then, either, then. What do you say we go to that one place? You mean the one we discussed earlier? Sure, sounds good to me. You know that wherever you go, I'll always follow. I do, and I appreciate it. Alright, catch you later, either on the Glocken or on the battlefield. Alright, huh. cool. What? Okay, theoretically, if a bullet hits the fuse correctly and hasn't lost enough energy, it can trigger an explosion. If this does happen, the grenade will go off differently than normal, however. Oh. Yeah. In a normal explosion, the eye blast is contained with the casing. Da 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 da. Hey, minute. Spy Cat. <laughs> She's so cute. The larger caliber of the bullet is the better chances of detonating it. Oh, she's not cutscene. Hey, Sinon, there's something I've been meaning to ask you. Dude. How can I be strong like you? Stop being terrible, that's how. Ow. Strong? That's a bit me. I know just asking for advice won't be enough, and I'll need to work really hard to be as strong as you are. But I thought it'd be nice to get some tips for you. That is, if you don't mind. Strange. Huh? A lot of people have told me that they think I'm a strong person. I suppose I can see why they'd say that. But I don't think I'm strong at all. The opposite, in fact. Why do you think that's so strange? You're a famous sniper! Of course people think you're strong! So, timer. Yeah? I won't likely work because I'm from heat sensitive. Ah, uh, heat. It probably won't work because there needs to be a high heat actually applied to the grenade for it to explode. So you gotta cook it. Pretty much. In a high heat, not regular. Point taken. In some sense, yes, I suppose I am somewhat strong. However, I'm painfully aware of just how weak I am. That's why I find it strange people think I'm strong. Weak? How are you weak? Oh, yeah, I guess. Sorry. Hiroto and Asuna rescued me from myself. Even now, the only reason I can fight is because I know my friends are there to support me. Oh, Sinon, that's why you're best girl. I want to conquer my weaknesses. I want to be stronger. That's why I came to GGO. Wow, Sinon, I never knew that about you. 
My stats may be high, but I don't think that's the type of strength you were referring to, right, Kureha? Yeah, you're right. I gotta stop being weak. Stop being weak! Sorry, I don't think I can give you advice. I, I, oh, sorry, but I can't give you advice on how to be strong. I'm trying to find that answer myself. Look at me, ladies! Follow me and you'll be strong in no time. No, thank you, Sinon. I think I learned something important here today. By the way, from where I'm standing, you seem pretty strong yourself. But my guess is that it's... That's not good enough for you either. Yeah. So let's keep at it. One day, we'll find our answer. I'm your answer! <laughs> oh yeah, she wants to lie with you. You bet we will! And I'm Thank actually going to make it a short video today, just because I have to do a couple of things before I start the next one. And those things have to be done within the next 30 seconds. Later, everybody! Oh, okay. Bye!